What up guys, Deep3 here, back at it again with another Deep3 Reviews, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 rookies to open in NBA basketball cards. This serves as a little bit of a uh, beginner's guide for you new collectors out there, as well as seasoned veterans. This guide is going to be for the current year of 2021, after their first year, so this might change, out, uh, change in the future. It's very early in their careers, but... Uh, these are the cards that you want to hunt for right out the gate right now. So here we have a list of all of the rookies and their stats and performance for the 2021 season. Again, very early in their career, but a lot of these guys have a good outlook. And I'm going to rattle off a few of the names that are really obvious. And that is going to be starting off with LaMelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, and Anthony Edwards. All of these guys had a really good first year. Uh, it's looking really good for them in the next following years. They're all on kind of mid mid to lower tier teams. So they get a lot of opportunity to play major minutes. And, you know, with major minutes, lots of time to grow. And hopefully their performance continues in an upward trend. This is where it gets a little bit more dicey. 4 through 10, you could shake these up around any way you want. But, uh, you know, my list is not the end-all be-all. This is just uh, the best cards to go for at this very moment for the next criteria i'm going with uh, four through eight gonna be uh, decided based off of points scored within a year a very simple thing but if, if they score more than 10 points in their first year i find that to be a very impressive thing to do as a rookie uh, if they're letting you shoot that much if you're on a bad team you get to play tons more minutes and this is going to be a very obvious thing that has occurred with all of these players that i'm rattling off here for example, Jay Sean Tate, he's scoring 11.3 points a game. Sadiq Bey, 12.2. Cole Anthony, the Orlando Magic, is absolutely trash right now. So he's getting a lot of time to grow. That's why he has hype, and that's why his prices were really high on the cards for a while now. The other two, Emmanuel Quickly, New York Knicks, they're on an uprise right now. And uh, he, he's had a lot of opportunity to shine over Obi Toppin. Um, on top of that, we have James Wiseman. Uh, he's also been averaging 11.5 points a game. If he wasn't injured as much as he was last season, he might have been able to show more of his skill. There's a lot of been, there has been a lot of glimpses of his skill being shown in the small time amount of time that he has been playing. So, uh, in terms of players that have a lot of potential, uh, four through eight: Jason Tate, Bay, Anthony, Quickly, Wiseman. All five of those are great uh, pickups that you might want to hold on to for the future. And uh, they have a lot of potential to grow because of their positions that they are in currently. Now you may be wondering, why not this guy? Why not that guy? They're in the same situation on a bad team. That's why I'm going by the points because they're obviously letting the better rookie take up the, the brunt of the scoring because the other one isn't as good, in my opinion. Uh, you know, for example, Killian Hayes is playing with Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, but his points production is a lot lower. He is a guard, but he's playing a different role from them. They have to get rebounds and score at the same time. What is this guy doing? So uh, that that's in a little bit of explanation as for my decisions on that. Uh, for 9 and 10, these are going to be more subjective picks here. I like Peyton Pritchard quite a lot, actually. His situation is different than any other rookie currently because he's playing with two all-stars in Jalen Brown and uh, Jason Tatum. So he had to play a role off the bench. That is a very tough thing in your first year. He's been putting in very good minutes off the bench, scoring and producing also his recent uh, success in in some side league. He scored 92-something points. So he's got the hype behind him now. We see his ceiling potential if he's given the ball more, option, more often. He has room to grow, and he's on a good organization that knows how to develop players, clearly. And for number 10, uh, this one's a little bit of a biased pick, so you don't have to agree with this one at all. I, I can name easily a ton of other players on this list that could be better, but I personally like Malachi Flynn. Now, his situation is in the 2021 season, uh, Kyle Lowry was injured a lot. Bembry was injured a lot. All of their guards were injured a lot. Even uh, Fred Van Vliet. So when Malachi Flynn was able to just come off the bench out of nowhere, he shocked everybody by scoring lots of points, got tons of steals. And 
I think he has a lot of potential in that sense. He's very skinny, very slim right now for the NBA. But if he can develop, if he can train, I think that he can become a very good player. So he's my little bit of a dark horse pick. I'm holding on to his rookie cards right now. And yeah. Uh, honorable mentions, Denny Abdija. I think his expectations were way too high. He's playing with Westbrook, who is known to be kind of a ball hogger. But I think the role he played was very, very good. Uh, another honorable mention, I would say Jaden McDaniels. He's in the shadow of Anthony Edwards, but he's not a bad player at all whatsoever. He's been doing very well in Summer League. And the last person I would like to point out is Alexev Pokusevsky. He is a six or what, a seven foot point guard on the Thunder. The Thunder is not a good team right now. He has a lot of room to grow. He could be the next Dirk or KD for all we know. So you got to keep your eyes out for him. That is something you cannot teach size. So without further ado, let's get into these packs. Hopefully we can pull one of these studs today and uh, increase the value of our collection for the future. Welcome, welcome. If you uh, skipped to the pack opening portion of this video, obviously I went over the top 10 rookies we want to go for uh, in the 2021 class as of right now. If you are watching this in the future, that list might have just changed. Hopefully LaMelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, and Anthony Edwards are still the top dogs of the class. But I could easily see any of those other players, you know, grind and work their butts off. I, I, <laughs> it can easily happen. I think COVID plays a very good role in it this year and last year, giving them the opportunity to play more minutes. And uh, seeing as some players don't want to play, you know more opportunity to them whenever they get sick it was a season of attrition that's for sure so first pack in we're doing uh, prism cellos and it is 12 cards per pack with the bonus pack red white and blues so we just want to go for them rookies haven't opened these in a while and uh boy these are beautiful looking cards very fun i always appreciate opening them and i always collect the base cards regardless so first one's up sabonis daniel house Ishi Smith, KG, throwback base. Very nice there. I do like the, the throwback cards quite a lot. And uh, I'll make sure you guys see it. BI. Kyle Lowry. Now on the... Ooh, what is this? We've got some silver action here. Slide it on. Please be a rookie. Please be a rookie. Okay. It is dark blue. Please be Poku. Tyrese Maxey, okay. He's a good one, too. I didn't mention him on the list, but I do have his auto. We got a silver Maxey rookie card. That is actually a very, very nice hit. And uh, the proof in the pudding is that I'm going to throw it in a sleeve. That's how you know it's a good hit. He did a lot for the uh, 76ers, actually. I think he's better than Ben Simmons. Feel free to uh, replace him. And behind that is going to be a Trey Young, if you're curious. Um, good thing it wasn't a rookie, but hey, first pack magic. We going hot right here. People of the future, what do you guys think? Tyrese Maxey, is he a beast now? I think he has more opportunity. His stock is rising right now as we speak because Ben Simmons might be on his way out. Just throwing that out there. Trey Young, green. I'm a big fan of Trey Young, so I'm more than happy to take that. Devin Vassell, emergent rookie card insert. Um, he's all right behind that. What is this? Not a rookie. Markel Fultz and Nuggets rookie RJ, RJ Hampton here. Not a rookie. Kyle Kuzma, Mr. Shanghai shark. And that would be it. I'll take it though. I like Kuzma. Next up red, white, and blue pack. See what you can do for me. Uh, I really want to open a LeBron red, white, and blue card. Hopefully, you'll be up in the very front here. Ah, no, Frank Kaminsky, dude. Frank Kaminsky, dude. Come on, bro. Hopefully, we can get a rookie at least. Uh, we got Timberwolves. Not a rookie. Carl Anthony Towns. Next card up. Rookie. Green. Oh, Ness Smith or Peyton Pritchard? I'd rather take a Pritchard. Pritchard, Okay. Nice. Two solid, solid rookie hits there in the first pack. Very happy about that. I don't think I have a red, white, and blue Pritchard yet. And uh, that's clean. 
I think I have the light, lighting perfect, too. So we got a Silver Maxi, an RJ Hampton, and a Peyton Pritchard. That's the one with a Devin Vassal. Go on to the next pack. Can't complain whatsoever. We picked a good first pack from my uh, local card shop. Got him right here. Boom, boom. Also, another question. Would any of you guys be interested if I ran in uh, ran NBA card breaks? I'm just, just curious about that. What do we got here? Oh, another potential silver. Another green parallel. That's always good to see. Michael Porter. Paul Millsap. Jeff Green, the high flyer. James Harden. Juan Hernan Gomez. I don't think he's on that team anymore. There's another one stuck behind there. Cam Reddish. Um, okay. Sacramento Kings, please be a rookie. Not a rookie. De'Aaron Fox, silver, though. That is sick. That's sick. Ugh. Wrong Hornet. Come on. Behind here, insert. Okoro, okay. Behind here, Spurs, rookie. Devin Vassell, again. Behind here, Hornets. Not a rookie. Caleb Martin. And Kings, Harry Giles, okay. This pack, not so great. I mean, we got a silver fox, that's fine. Bonus pack, maybe we'll treat us better. Hopefully, uh, LeBron. Red, white, and blue, please. Oh, Devontae DiVincenzo. Very cool name, though, at least. Next one up. Not a rookie. Lillard, the dime dropper. And rookie. Poku, it's light blue this time. Theo Maladin, okay. Well, two for two on rookies, red, white, and blues. Can't complain there. Um, I don't know how good Theo Maladin's going to end up be, being, but who knows? He could be better than um, Pokusevsky. Only time will tell. Last pack. So far, I think the uh, first pack was the best, just because of the silver maxi. We have not hit Olamello, Wiseman, Halliburton, or Ball, or uh, Edwards, I mean. But hopefully this last pack was the one I picked correctly. If not, maybe I have to go back to the card shop and buy the rest of them up. Boom! Nope, Dylan Brooks. Okay. Give it a good rotation. We've got, uh, oh, another silver. We hit three for three on silvers. That's not bad. I don't know if they're guaranteed every time. Bogdan, Gordon... Richardson, Shabazz Napier, I do have his rookie card, SGA, and, okay, please be a rookie, please be a rookie, okay, who could this be, Detroit Pistons, I want a Sadiq Bay. let's go, let's go, we'll take it, we'll take it, you know what? Silver rookies, they are not easy to come by. And uh, let's see what's behind here. New York Knicks, please be a rookie. No, Reggie Bullock. All right, let's leave this Sadiq Bay real quick. Nice, we hit two silver rookies in three cellos. That's, I cannot complain about that at all. Sadiq Bay definitely has a lot of potential. Definitely a player you want to have in your PC right now. Can easily uh, become a star player. In their situation right now. Reggie Bullock. Uh, insert. Ja Morant. Nice. Dominance. I will take that. That's a nice insert. One of my favorite inserts, actually. And Hornets. Rookie. Uh. Uh. Oh! Oh! LaMelo Ball! Oh! Yeah! Oh. We did it. We did it. We did it. All right. Sheesh. Just a regular one. Imagine if it was the silver. Let's go. Phoenix Suns. We're slaving this guy right here. Ricky Rubio. I don't even care. Tyrell Terry. We still got more rookies. There we go. That's the last one there. That's um, some good packs right there. Um, Damn. Why did I sleeve the Tyrell Terry? <laughs> I don't think I have a Lamello Prism base yet. After so much opening of it, 
Oh, man, that's that's nice. This stock, I think this card's still going for around 40, 50 bucks. That's the crazy part for the Prism base. So now I think I have every single Lamello except for uh, clearly Donruss. Prism, red, white, and blue. We can still hit a LeBron here. We can still hit another Lamello here. That would be even crazier. Let's see where we go. Usually he's on the very front. So if you're wondering why the dramatic pull, um, there you go. Sixers, not a rookie. Shake, Milton, not a rookie. Shaq, throwback, Shaq. You know what? That last pack, very good. We hit ourselves a good amount of rookies, I would say. This is the recap. Of course, we have the LaMelo ball. Oh, man, I was ready for it to be Grant Riller or Vernon Carey or any of those other jabronis, but nope. We got it on first try. Tyrell Terry here. Sure, welcome. Theo Malden, red, white, and blue. Always good to get a parallel there. Devin Vassell, I haven't sleeved you yet. Peyton Pritchard, red, white, and blue. Very nice. RJ Hampton, base. And we have some silver rookies. In three packs, we hit two. That's pretty nice. Sadiq Bay and a Tyrese Maxey. Cannot complain there whatsoever. Two silvers and two red, white, and blue rookies. I think we did fantastic. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button and please subscribe. Watch more pack pulls. See if I can just keep pulling them balls out out of nowhere. And as always, thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.